वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू येट अनदर लेक्चर ऑन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड लिटरेचर एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द मॉडर्निस्ट लिटरेचर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सी इन द मॉडर्निस्ट पोएट्री द मॉडर्निस्ट नॉवल एंड इन आर लेक्चर टूडे वी शैल डिस्कस द मॉडर्निस्ट ड्रामा द मॉडर्निस्ट ड्रामा द अर्ली ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी विटनेस द रीबर्थ ऑफ ड्रामा एस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट लिटररी फॉर्म Now, most of the important dramatists were chiefly concerned with the contemporary social scene, the social problems. There were also signs of re revival of poetic, poetic drama as well. So, the revival of poetic drama. The long-established rules of the theatric, theatrical representation were challenged. It resulted in the development of many new forms of theater. Many new forms of theater, including modernism, expressionism, impressionism, uh, political theater, realist drama, and other forms of experimental theater. Now, some of the important dramatists of this period are George Bernard Shaw, John Millington Synge, J. M. Synge, Henry Arthur John, Johns. John Galsworthy etc another important thing that we can remember is the early 20th century theater of britain showed greater interest in the dramas other than that of england the foreign dramas now because of this interest in foreign dramas there is a proliferation of translations of foreign plays of playwrights like anton chekhov etc Uh, one of the important genre of drama of this particular time was the realist drama realism in drama so realism tries to present the subject matter truthfully so what is realism realism tries to present the subject ma matter truthfully it will avoid artificiality and supernatural elements the dramatists used realism to direct attention to the social and psychological problems of the ordinary life John Galsworthy set the trend towards the realist social drama with his play The Silver Box that came out in 1906. Now J.M. Synge is John Gals Galsworthy's Irish counterpart in the genre of realist drama. So realism in drama or realist drama. Another important development is the poetic drama. The verse drama or the poetic drama is Uh, any drama written in verse to be spoken written in verse to be spoken the english poetic drama in the 20th century arose as a reaction to the naturalist prose drama of ibsen the prose drama uh, the prose drama of ibsen show and galsworthy the prose drama did not represent any emotional reality it was mainly used for social criticism now the language used by the dramatists while presenting social problems was tough and because of that drama was prosaic rather than poetic in the early decades of the 20th century now so this poetic drama is coming as a reaction to the prose drama the 20th century poetic drama has assumed different different forms and different shapes in the hands of different dramatists now poetic dramas have been written on a variety of subjects subjects like exaltation of religion and the exaltation of the church the glorification of god and even the denunciation of god etc some poetic plays are symbolic and mystical in character and a number of them have celtic mythology and irish life as their subjects so the poetic uh, drama the dramatists like stephen phillips oscar wilde and or john davidson Uh, Lawrence Binion or John Masefield J M Sins or T S Eliot uh, W S Auden or Christopher Isherwood or uh, Stephen Spender Christopher Fry now all these dramatists they were mentioned all these dramatists they played a significant part in the movement for the revival of the verse play so we see the uh, development or coming of the verse play as a reaction to the prose plays so we can remember the realist plays as well as the uh, prose plays of the early 20th century one important dramatist that we will consider today is george bernard shaw g b shaw who lived from 1856 to 1950 
GB show George Bernard show was born in Dublin he, and he came to London with his mother in 1876 in England he was an active member of the Fabian society active member of the Fabian society now what is a Fabian society the Fabian society is a British socialist organization whose purpose is to advance the principles of democratic socialism democratic socialism so uh, Fabian society is trying to propose and advance uh, the principles of democratic socialism now what is democratic socialism democratic socialism is achieved through gradual and reformist effort in democracies so gradual and reformist effort rather than the revolutionary overthrow marxism will talk about revolutionary overthrow he joined the campaign to spread the ideals of fabian socialism so fabian socialism Though Shaw tried his hands at novel, he was unsuccessful as a novelist. So Shaw was unsuccessful as novel as a novelist. He tried his skill in drama and emerged as a very successful dramatist. He commenced as a dramatist with uh, Widower's House in 1892, the first play of Shaw, and it was not met with much success. In 1904, between 1904 to 1906, the Court Theatre presented his plays. consistently and his reputation grew he was the most popular dramatist by the end of the first world war he was awarded nobel prize for literature in 1925 so that is a little biography biography of george bernard shaw now we shall see some of the plays of george bernard shaw please remember some of the plays of uh, george bernard shaw the first collection of plays of bernard shaw that we can remember is plays pleasant and unpleasant that came in 1898 now this contained uh, plays pleasant and unpleasant contained seven plays three unpleasant and four pleasant the unpleasant plays were widower's house that came in 1892 uh, mrs warren's profession that came in 1894 now this warren's profession it was banned and it it was privately produced in 1902 and it became publicly produced in 1925 the uh, the philander that came in 1893 now these were the realist dramas that depicted uh, slum landlordism prostitution etc now such a realistic presentation was not received with much favor they were the unpleasant plays now the four pleasant plays were arms and the man that came in 1894 Candida 1895 the man of destiny 95 and you never can tell that came in 1897 now these plays had a humorous witty approach giving excellent amusement so unpleasant and pleasant the three plays for puritans that came in 1901 now this is a collection of three plays by uh, george bernard shaw the devil the devil's disciple 1897 Caesar and Cleopatra 1898-99 Captain Brassbound's conversion that came in 1899-1900 Man and the Superman 1903 now it was one of Shaw's most important plays Man and Superman it tells a woman's pursuit for a life partner or mate he puts forward the idea that a life force is working through human being towards perfection and this can be reached only by selective breeding selective breeding and this selective breeding which will eventually produce the superman man and the superman uh, john bull's other island that came in 1904 now it is a good humored satire on english and irish prejudices major barbara that came in 1905 it contains religious and social themes religious and social themes now doctor's dilemma uh, that came in 1906 it is about medical profession doctor's dilemma now getting uh, married that came in 1908 now it it is about marriage conventions getting married that came in 1908 the the sho- showing up of blango prosnet that came in 1909 it is a melodrama about religious conversion Miss Alliance that came in 1910 it is a discussion of parent child relationship miss alliance the dark lady of the sonnets that came in 1910 there is the fanny's first play that came in 1911 and uh, 
Androcles and the lion that came in 1902. Now these are these plays have religion as the theme. Religion as the theme. There is Pygmalion that would come in 1912-13. Uh, Pygmalion is a witty and highly entertaining study of class distinction. There is Heartbreak House that came that comes in 1913-13. Uh, it is set in, in the war period. Uh, Heartbreak House. It treats of upper class disillusionment during the pre-war years. Back to Methuselah that came in 1921, St. Joan in 1923-24. These are studies on religion and St. Joan is probably the finest play of Bernard Shaw, St. Joan. There are also other plays which uh, Bernard Shaw has written after his uh, play St. Joan. Uh, this play, plays like the apple cart. So my dear students, Bernard Shaw was strongly influenced by the ideology of Karl Marx and he had faith in socialism as the panacea of all social maladies. The solution for all social malady is socialism. Uh, he believed in Karl Marx, he was influenced by Karl Marx. Bernard Shaw also was very much influenced by Henrik Ibsen and his approach to social issues. Under the influence of Ibsen, Shaw wrote many realistic plays. He used his plays as a platform to examine social issues and to propagate his ideas. To examine social issues and to propagate his ideas. According to Shaw, the, idea of, the ideas of his plays were the most important feature. He saw the stage as a platform for his views and the fundamental aim of his drama was the betterment of the humanity betterment of the humanity. Though the early works of Shaw was socialist in theme, we said he was influenced by Karl Marx and socialism, his later works had religion as the main theme. Shaw was renowned for his striking prefaces. So some of the important characteristics that we can remember of Shaw is his striking prefaces. Now in the prefaces he expounded his views. We said the drama was mainly to expound his views, he expounded his ideas. Now wit sparkles through his plays. Now, which is the essence of uh, Bernard Shaw's comedy? His sense of humor is sometimes uh, uncontrolled and the result is disturbing. There is a serious purpose underlying his fun. So, propagate his views, to propagate his ideas. The characters of Bernard Shaw, uh, after Shakespeare, it is said, there is no English dramatist who can equal Shaw in the variety and vividness of characters. His characters are products of social forces and representatives of his ideas. Some are the mouthpieces of his own theories and others are projection of his own personality. So the characters of Bernard Shaw, the character representation of Bernard Shaw. The dialogues of Bernard Shaw are of highest order. He was a brilliant orator or a, a talker and he used this gift in his place. He had the art of making the long discourse as interesting and as dramatic as action. So in this, the brilliance of Shaw is never surpassed. Now, Shaw was excellent in his dramatic technique as well. Though he used to plays to convey his ideas, he was a master of the art. He had good sense of the stage. He made full use of the tricks of the trade. He was a master of the art of surprise and his plays had varieties of mood. So my dear students, we are discussing the modernist literature and in our lecture today we have said something about the modernist drama and we said that we see a revival of drama during the modern, modern times, uh, the realist drama as well as the poetic drama. Then we talked about George Bernard Shaw. He started his career as a novelist but he was unsuccessful as a novelist then he will take on to uh, writing plays. As a dramatist, he was very successful. So as a summary for our lecture today, please write a short description of the modern drama, the realist drama, the worst drama, and a long description about George Bernard Shaw. Uh, please mention some of the plays, some of the important plays of George Bernard Shaw, and some of the characteristics of the dramas of George Bernard Shaw. Have a nice time, stay safe at home, have a joyful learning, thank you.